Hey everybody, Kathy here with uh, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Thank you for joining us today. I um, have a 12 by 12 canvas here and I have my ready to pour color place from Walmart house paint, or ready to use actually, parenthesis satin. No silicone, no glue, no water in it. All I have is my golden fluid acrylic Payne's Gray. And I mixed in some white. You can see it looks marbled uh, because I'm going to do the stained glass today, again, which is the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin. However, I'm going to put a little twist on my swiping, so you'll see that when I uh, get to that point. So my colors I'm using today, I just have an array of colors. I have rich cobalt pigment by primary elements. I have golden fluid phthalo green. I have playful peony and shy rose primary elements. Pomegranate primary elements. Lemon drop primary elements. This is orange red and pearl papaya by Arteza. Poppy red primary elements. Threw in a little bit of the neon orange from Artist Loft. This is the royal satin primary elements. And this is the lily pad by this little piggy. So we have quite a combination of colors here today. Yeah, very vibrant colors, very cool. And um, I guess I feel vibrant. <laughs> Look at me, I feel vibrant, can you tell? Of course you can, I have my magical black on. Oh geez. So, and that's gonna be my cell activator, my magic black, which is Floetrol and black Amsterdam paint of your choice. You can use oxide black, you can use carbon black, you can use any color black that you'd like. So let's start out with our drizzle. You're going to. Oh, I was going to do it the other way, but I was going to say, you don't have your drizzle sticks. Yeah, well, I mixed them all up and then I put them away, and I don't know why I put them away. That was kind of stupid. <clears throat> I don't also. think it matters which one you use because they're all it dry. It doesn't. It doesn't. Ooh, I love this color. This is rich cobalt. Yeah, that is really nice, deep blue. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. We did. Um, it was just Phil and I, so we enjoyed the day looking at each other, but what's <laughs> new? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what we do every day is just kind of sit around and look at each other. Hey, I'm busy. Yeah, you're busy doing nothing. Busy bothering me. Well, that's a full-time job. Well, it has to be because, you know what, I'm a little devil, so... I'm a little stinker! No, I don't stink. <laughs> <laughs> I do smell pretty good. With my flower bomb perfume that I use. I've been wearing that for years and years and years. And if you have a chance, when you go to the store and you find flower bomb, ask for just a sample you will fall in love with it. Because it's, um, it's not a real powerful perfume. I've tried it, it's not for me. <laughs> but you <laughs> like the smell of it. I do like the smell of it. All these different pigments and paints that Kathy is using today, she has a special recipe and uh, how she makes up those pigments and paints and that's in video 410. It's a quick and easy recipe and she uses that same recipe for drizzles for blooms and for swipes. So check out the video 410. I'll have a direct link in the description box. And also, if you have a chance, hop over to Facebook and uh, join our Facebook group, which is Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. We'd love to have you there and show us your creations. Just share your creations with all of us. Um, it, it's, it's really fun to see everybody what they do. And I mean, you, if you like crochet or you draw, you can put any type of your creations on there. It doesn't have to be yeah, we, uh, we, poor painting. We, we welcome anything artistic. As, uh, yeah. I personally appreciate anything that's been uh, done by artists. So yeah, it's, all forms of art. Yes. If you're a jewelry designer, put jewelry on there. The main focus, of course, is paint pouring. It is. But some people, you know... Well, they do multiple things. I like was going to say... You've do. done jewelry in the past. You've done wreaths in the past. You've done 
uh, uh, acrylic paintings in the past and so forth. So um, art is art. It is. You know, just be nice. If, if you don't like it, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, those are my rules. Um, be kind and considerate to everyone because everybody likes what they create. That doesn't mean that you have to like it, but just don't comment that. And everybody has to start somewhere. So we welcome beginners. All newbies. And that's how you uh, get started and improve. Exactly. So uh, we want Paint Porn by Kathleen Miller's Facebook group to be a safe place. Exactly. This is going to be quite colorful, Phil. <laughs> yes, it is. That's, uh, that's the first stage is to get all the different co colors drizzled on there. That's for sure. Well, we're definitely doing that, aren't we? Yes. Huh. Yeah, I should have just left the sticks in here. I was wiping them all off and everything, and it's like... The crap. Kathy does have actually three different shops. She has an Amazon shop uh, where you can get all the different supplies that you need for paint pouring, including like the puppy pool and the spinner and all paints and pigments and so forth. She also has an Etsy shop which contains her original art, and she has a Redbubble shop, which is a shop where you can get Kathy's art images on a wide variety of products. And the nice thing about that, you don't even have to leave your house. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is right. It's just fun kind of clicking around, you know, say, uh, picking a pillow and then having Kathy's uh, art images superimposed on there. And uh, it's, it's really cool and fun thing to do. And if you see something you like, the prices are very reasonable. And see, I can just fool around here all day because Phil's making dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, I'm grilling out. Okay, I, I take the hint. I'm well, you're the grill out. master. Yeah, well, I grill. I don't know if I'm the master at all, but uh, I do want to mention that, you know, people wonder what in the world is this drizzle bit, you know, just drizzling paint, different colors all over the canvas. And how in the world is that ever going to turn into something? Um, and you'll see as we go through the different steps of this technique why it was so important to drizzle all the different colors uh, over the canvas. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a mishmash. And it, it really is a mishmash. <laughs> and thank, <laughs> you, bon thank you, Bonnie, for that shirt. I love that shirt. You'll have to wear that in the I'm going videos. to. Yes. And I want to thank everybody for subscribing to our channel. We love all of you. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, because we have a lot of fun here. At least for you to see. I mean, there are times when Phil and I can really get into it before <laughs> the camera rolls. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want to see what's happening before the camera rolls. <laughs> yeah, sometimes be, it's not too good. I think we, it would be bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, I never ever say bad words. Oh, that was just me. Right. That's you. You're the other bleeps. <laughs> I'm just a bleep. No, yeah. we are just ha ha we are just having spirited discussions about things. That's all. Well, sometimes I I think I wonder what the neighbors think. Because it's like, who? She's at it again. They probably think, how in the world did these two people stay married for 50 years? It sounds like they're killing each other. Well, yesterday, Phil had the TV so darn loud, I couldn't even hear my TV. I said, what are you doing? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I have to see if there's bubbles, and okay. there is. So this is I'm what just the gonna pop it a little drizzle bit this quick. is supposed to do. And you do want to have some of the underlying base color coming through. You don't want 100% uh, 
uh, coverage over the base. You do want to leave some of the base showing because that'll help to uh, formulate or outline the cells and so forth. That's what we're looking for. And uh, leave me a comment if you, if you are having trouble with anything. Just ask me and I'll try to help you. Uh, some people have called me in the past and I've gone over it with them face-to-face. Uh, -face. Well, this technique is called the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin. Of course, this was the drizzle stage of it. But each stage is super important, very important to try to uh, do the technique properly okay. in order to get the desired effect, uh, which in this case is sort of a stained glass colored effect at the end. Oh, I just kicked something. Yeah. Okay. Kathy is getting out her cell activator, which is simply black paint and Floetrol. I'm just mixing a little bit more here. And see, this is, this is how you want it when you mix it. That's the consistency you're looking for. You oh, you can't it see it side. because yeah, I have black side, on. Yes. It's still hard to see there. See how right? it springs back? Okay. That's what you want. Okay. You want it All to right. spring back. Okay. I keep forgetting I have black so you can't see the black. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so I'm going to swipe here. I'm going to do it a little bit different, I think. Uh, should I? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you can swipe with a variety of different swiping tools, I guess you'd call them. Kathy simply uses plain playing cards. And she found uh, that uh, that works best for her on these, I guess, smaller swiping projects. And this is what you want. Look at all this super nice cells with all the different colors that Kathy has drizzled. No, I'm going to do my old way. Okay. Because I want to make sure I have all the colors. Yeah, okay. Because this true. is going to be beautiful. Yeah, it is. I can, we're, we're getting a lot of different colors. And, and that's what that drizzle does. Having all the different colors drizzled all around creates all the different colored cells within each swipe. Oh, look at this. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Now you don't want to go down, uh, you don't want to push too hard. You want to leave some colors on there. Right. That's why a playing card is so ideal because it's very flexible. And basically, Kathy is simply laying, once she has the cell activator on the card, she simply lightly lays the card on top of the drizzle paint and swipes. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You're just trying to spread that cell activator over the surface drizzled paints. You don't want to be digging in or anything because then you'll be bringing up the base paint. See, very lightly she goes over. Just spread the love and <laughs> on the canvas. <laughs> pretty much instantaneously you, you start getting your cells. So she has like half of it done and she's creating all the nice colored cells. And they're all there. All these uh, paints that we did, they're all here. Aha. Yeah, I can see the yellows, the oranges, the blues. Uh, you have some red in there, some green, a darker blue. Literally every color that Kathy drizzled is coming up, and that's what you want. Did you notice anything, Phil? Yes, you went the other way. Yes. Okay, Kathy did swipe a little bit different than normal. Usually she goes from one end of the one side to the other. Just trying something new. She's trying something new with this. We'll see if that makes any difference in the final composition. I think it will. Well, I don't know. As long as it's bringing up cells, um, that's what we want at this stage. Oh boy. I'm just loving these colors, though. Loving, loving, loving these colors. Oh. As you can see, Kathy does clean the card after every swipe because you don't want any residual paint on the card. All you want on the card 
is the cell activator. Yeah, I was just um, putting my base paint on here and I dripped my paint into my cell activator and I had to throw my whole container away. Look, there it is, my black magic. <laughs> well, well, you don't want any contaminated cell activator. It, no, It won't don't. work properly. Then. It won't. So if you get paint in your cell activator, don't use it. Well, you also want fresh cell activator. If it's more than a day mm -hmm. or two old, uh, you can use it, but you're probably not going to get the as good a reaction with the cells. Um, no, you won't. Compared to if it's fresh that day or the, at least one, at the most one day old. So. Yeah, you always want fresh. Like me. <laughs> well, you're fresh every day. I know. And you're loving it. I do. Well, sometimes you don't. Oh, I just say you do. Whether you do or not, you probably just say, yeah, I do. Because you know, I say, oh, you love it. Okay. Oh, man. All right. This is going to be something, let me tell you. So the drizzle is done. And the swipe is done. And this is what it should look like if you're looking to get a lot of different colors and cells Oh, we have a lot of different colors and cells here, let me tell you. I'm just going to pick this up because I don't want to get these dirty. Woo! Put them in my little cup. Don't lose your cards. we got to order some more. I know. That's awful. Okay, i just got to get the colors on these. That one's empty. This one's empty. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So... I got to wreck this now somehow. Now, oh, do I want to? Kathy wreck it? uses a pointed stick uh, to use the wrecking, to, or to do the wrecking. And there's a variety of ways you can do it, but this is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to give you a nice kind of frilly, wispy lines uh, through the drizzle paints. And wrecking does add a lot of interest to the final composition, but you also don't want to overdo it because you do want to have some nice areas of colored cells. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Okay, abracadabra. Okay, so we're to the last step, which is the spinning. Let's see what's going to happen here now. Abracadabra. Ah, oh, show me what you're going to create here, honeys. Oh, look mm -hmm. at this, Phil. Yes. Oh, oh, wow. Look holy at that. moly, people. Look at that. You're getting that stained glass effect. And oh. you, you, you get all the different colors through there. And see what the spinning does is it expanded the different cells. Okay, so it expanded the cells, but the cells retain their coloration. And the reason she uses the black cell activator is because that outlines the cells that are created very nicely. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's get an overall view of this again. Holy cow, is this pretty. Yeah, that turned out super nice. Ugh. That's why you want to use a lot of bright, bright colors. colors in this technique. If you're, if you're looking for the stained glass technique, you want it to have a lot of bright colors because look at all the bright colors that have come out from the, the drizzle. One's competing with the other. That's right. One goes, uh, I want to be prettier than you. I love this corner here. Oh, look that's that. the pomegranate. Yeah, look at all the look at all the colors in just that corner there. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Now, if you spin more, you might get uh, larger cells if you want larger cells. Yeah, I can spin it one more time and we'll see the difference. Okay. 
because it's not going to hurt it. No. I don't know, was that fast enough, you think? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the paint's flying off. Oh, it is. It's flying okay. off on my hand. Okay. Yeah, see, okay. it just made them bigger. So again, look at, yes, it expanded the cells, made them even bigger. But again, they retained their coloration, which mm -hmm. is wonderful. That's what t this technique is supposed to do. Some nice ones down there. Oh, this corner is absolutely gorgeous there. With that pomegranate, that yeah, pomegranate, that. it's really pretty. And then again, an overall picture. Uh, yeah, this this is beautiful. And as you can see, I want to point out too how the wrecking lines expanded. So those little wrecking lines that Kathy did throughout, they expand too. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends. Please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell because that way you will be notified whenever Phil uploads a video. If you don't hit the bell, you're not going to be notified. And then a lot of times people will say, I didn't see that one. When was it? Did you, ha notif did you hit the bell? Oh, I forgot to hit the bell when I subscribed. It's very important. So hit the bell. If you like it, like I said, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I will help you do this. I'm here all the time. I don't go anywhere. All I do is paint, mix paints. Tomorrow is my mixing paint day again. So until the next time, everybody, stay healthy, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you later, alligators. Bye. Take a final look at this overall. Really cool.